Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Huey here, and we are continu continuing on with some more Space Engineers in what I've touted as my, uh, sort of tutorial series, semi-tutorial series, um, halfway tutorial series, I don't know, but, uh, we'll just call it sort of for now. So, I was told, um, given an alert a little bit earlier, that a new version of Space Engineers is available. I hope it doesn't affect our save. We'll find out. <clears throat> but uh, yes, and the good news is we finally got our mining ship finished. Um, haven't really got to test it though. Um, I did want to test it. Got to fly around with it a bit and yeah, so far so good. We know that the thruster test it passed the thruster test, so it's not going to burn off the drills, thankfully. But, uh, I'm not sure if it, if a full mining ship will hold that weight up with, I think it's, uh, six thrusters on the front, six on the bottom. They're small thrusters, though. Um, six at the back should be fine. And three on each side with two gyroscopes. So I hope that's sufficient. Um, there have been a lot of changes with the game since I last played it. And even when I was playing it, they uh, I do remember they seriously nerfed at my thrusters. So I hope they haven't done that again. Uh, it is quite possible. <clears throat> but what we really need to do, there's a few things we need to do. And that is, um, firstly, mine some magnesium. Secondly, I don't know if it's secondly, but... Not in any particular order. Uh, we need to build some more advanced refining and assembling facilities. So, I figured that would be a good place to start. Alright, here she is. Still haven't come up with a name for her yet. I've asked people in uh, Discord quite some time ago. Though it will take a little while to update. Um, how are our batteries going? Alright. Turn her on to auto. Dampers are on. Let's go get a load of ice, ladies and gentlemen. That'll be a good test for us. For us. bit of ice. I think it's over there. So this is our weight test. You should always test your machines. Pretty good, we're not overdoing it with the power either, not yet. Though I might need some back uh some backup like emergency reactors and the good news is we do have some uranium about. <clears throat> Start right here. I am a little bit worried. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I am a little bit worried. Anyway, let's turn on our drills.
check our... It's a lot of ice. Remembering this is with times three inventory too, so... So it's de designed with that in mind. So if you're playing with less, fine. If you're playing with more, mm, I'd be careful. If you want to end up using this. Like I said, I won't upload the blueprint until I know. It's uh, done to my satisfaction. Alright, so we're filling the connector now. And then the final thing to fill will be the drills. But look, if we can fill the connector and the container, then I'll be happy. slowly. She's getting pretty full though. Drills are filling up. Let's see how we go. Barely lifting now. It's barely holding steady. Ooh. That was a pretty big, uh, thrusters are fully firing on the bottom. Starting to sink. All right. And I can't lift up. So. Let's take some out. Yep, yeah, take some out from there. Alright. Oh, no, 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 no. Go over here. There. Alright. So on times three we can't fill it up completely, but we can get pretty darn close. Why can't I? There we go. Good enough. So I'm happy with that. So it should be more than adequate for times uh, times one inventory on a ship. No. I have to get rid of some more. So what I have to remember is just fill up the container and the uh, connector, and that's enough. Which is 
fine with me. It's more than fine with me. I don't particularly like mining anyway, even with a ship. Unless I'm testing out something for the first, for the first time. This is a little bit of leeway. Still not enough. Okay. Come on. Rolling all this ice down the hill, which is kind of fun. Oh, I've only got 11%. Are you kidding? Damn. Come on, come on. Let's try that. We are pretty high up too, so... Uh, yeah, reasonably high up. It'll be a little bit thinner here. I just realised. I just realised. Why is this set to auto-lock? God damn it. Come on. Okay, it's barely enough. It's barely enough. So we're going to take it back. But like I said, I'm happy. It's fine. Does what I wanted to do for a little ship. And yeah, like I said, we are fairly high up, so... So there are a few things I could change with this, make this a bit more fuel efficient. And I'll change those later on. Now we've got to be very careful. Because we're so way down, it's going to take us a little bit more to stop. And we have to be careful. Oh! I didn't even get a warning. Anyway. I don't know if there's anything else I could... ...do to help. There's probably not. Maybe a bit of hydrogen. Look at all those bloody craters, man. <laughs> so nice and easy with your descent. Otherwise you come crashing down real hard. And I did, I did only want to make this a compact miner. So this is about as compact as I'm going to get. But hey, those lights look pretty good on the damn thing, I gotta say. Alright, so we've got 24 minutes. Alright, so here's something else I want to do. I want to go to the conveyor sorter and we want to whitelist and then we want to go 
Come on. Stone. Add. Same with this one. Whitelist. Stone. And then add. And then... So they're on... And we want to group them. Okay. So... Um, excuse me. Uh, sorters. We'll just put sorters, because sometimes you might want to... Do an emergency ejection of some other stuff, but... Anyway, so then we go to our G, uh, yeah, G, and go to sorters and drain all on and off. Simple. You can do it with your ejectors too, but I find that it just, you don't want to get stuff caught up in the conveyors that you don't want, or the conveyor sorters that you don't want caught up in it. Then we go into our ejectors. So, go to ejectors, ejector 1, ejector 2, uh, collect all, and throw out. But it'll only throw out stone, because that's what we've set that to. And it should... Okay. Anyway. I don't know what it threw out then, but whatever. Yeah, it should only, um... Maybe we'll change that actually. Oops. Maybe we'll change that to groups. Change that to toggle block on and off. Yeah. And then we'll go. No, not G. K. Conveyor sorter. Um, drain all on. Drain all on. But it won't, shouldn't drain unless I turn it on. So. There we go. Ready to lock. Locked. Let's recharge. Why is it taking the stone out? Sorta. I don't know. But it just got rid of all the stone. Even though I turned it off. What's going on? I don't know. Oh wait. There you go. <laughs> oh dear. That's why I did did that. All right, let's quickly go and recharge our. Let's recharge this first. Go and dump everything in here. Top this up. Put that back in there. Type in ice. And we want to fill that up as much as possible. Okay. And then the rest. Right, I'm going to grab some for me. Put that in there. Type in ice again. Now you can get sorters to do do this as well. If you really, really want to. I don't see that much point in it, but yeah, we've got heaps of ice now, so... Probably too much. Actually, let's move a little bit. Let's move a thousand over there so we can still fit, fit a few bottles in there if we want to. And I don't know why... Oh, hang on. There we go, yep. 
Oh, and I need food. I need food. Uh, food. Alright, what can I make? Um, some animal steaks. Animal meat steak, sure. Let's make three of them. Calm. I can only make two. Fine, I'll make two. Jesus. Okay. So next up. <clears throat> Is let's have a look at our batteries. These shouldn't take. If I've got them on recharge, they shouldn't take long. Yeah, it's three minutes. So, um, what I want to do next is hop out of here, and I do want to grind these off. Yes, I do. Then what else do I want to do? I want to put in some conveyors. For a conveyor system. Down there. So we'll start with a couple of uh, conveyor junctions at the top. Does that work? Yep, that'll work. Jeez, okay. So fill that out. And there we go. They're a good distance away from each other. Alright. And then... Put in a few tubes. At least get them started. So head down. Uh, that's what I forgot to do. So we get what we can. Head back down. And... So, as I said, get what we can, build the rest. So yeah, these are where the turrets will go. Ok. 
anything. Up here. Do do up here, thanks. Meteor storm inbound. Yeah, the sooner we can get this goddamn thing built, the better. One motor. One goddamn motor. Uh oh. That looks scary. It always does, though. Okay. Let's just keep going. <laughs> As if nothing ever happened. One motor. One motor. And that's it. Right. Beautiful. That's a start anyway. So, let's have a look at our, how our batteries are going. Uh, yeah, control panel, yep. Yeah. Fully charged. Right. Remember to turn these on to auto before disconnecting and. I know many people have made that mistake, myself included. So we start excavating. This is where the crosshair would be good. <laughs> oh well. We'll make do without it. Let's try and keep as level as we can. Dig straight underneath. Let's go back a bit. God damn it. Nothing ever wants to keep straight, does it? 
No, it doesn't. Uh, Alright. Like I said, we just do the best we can do. Cut away the big bits. And... Just use a hand drill to get the rest. cut away too much just yet for obvious reasons although it shouldn't shouldn't really matter it should be alright So we'll keep it like that for now, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slope down a bit. careful doing this. Thought I was all clear then. This goes to show I wasn't.
So what I want to do is dig out the general space. I don't want to make it, you know, anything too massive or ridiculous. So... <clears throat> I do want to make like a hangar section, which would be really cool. Um, which I could do now. And we could put that sort of over here somewhere. And then dig out the rest and fill the rest in. Okay. I should be able to just go straight down. Ish. So I do, I do want to dig a fair way. So come back out. See a damn thing. So watch your power, because we don't have a heck of a lot, but... Should have enough. At least to make a decent start. This is be an underground hangar. So hopefully can have a like a roof opening. Whoa. Watch that, because I've got no um down thrust. to do nicely. Perfect for a little outpost.
God damn it. We'll dig it out anyway. Too close. So, this should give us a rough idea of dimensions. Not a perfect one, of course, but. So from here, I shouldn't need to dig out the whole thing. Because from here, hopefully what I can do is dig straight across from there. But I should give this a recharge just to play it safe. What did I damage? Oh, thruster. God damn it. Well, we are engineers after all. It's our job to fix things. And to break things, for that matter. All in the name of science. That way, yeah. All right, let's lock her on. Recharge. One motor, really? What else did I damage? That's it. Okay, so if we look under here, <clears throat> I should be able to drill straight across there. That's the theory, anyway. Down into here. And then dig the rest of this out. And then the rest that I should just do, I should be able to just do by hand as I need it. So, fairly straightforward, I hope. Anyway, while we're waiting, let's grab some uh, steel plates. Make a few more. And weld up the rest of these.
Um. Yeah, I'm gonna need to drill that out, aren't I? Oh, grind that out. Sorry. Yeah. Fortunately, I've got that just anchored in there. So, all good. I may even put some uh, solar panels on this as well. Just to sort of supplement our power. Yeah, well, it should look pretty cool. After a while. <laughs> After we actually finished building it, that is. Oh. Uh... Yeah. You know what, stop doing the stone. I stopped doing cobalt. Do the nickel next. Then do the cobalt. That shit takes too long. Actually, do the scrap first. There you go. Mm -hmm. Uh, steel plates. Yes, of course. Steel plates. Steel plates. Don't forget the steel plates. So we'll do one side first, see how it looks. So far, so good. Looking a lot less flimsy now. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's got to be a good thing, right? Um, you know, I think we need to go for a drive. I really do. I really do want to get things built, but. I don't know. I could just go for a fly. You know what? Let's just go for a fly. It'd be a hell of a lot quicker. Okay. So, we can save on battery. So, third, uh, 10 seconds. Alright. So, we can save on batteries. And how we can do that as we look for our thrusters and oh god 
So all these F ones. Yeah, they're all F'd. Um, so forward. No, we want backward. Yeah. So let's look for backward, right? Select all those. And type in reverse thrust. Save. Okay. So we've got that saved now. Then we turn on our batteries, disconnect. Get our GK. Go to groups. And we've got reverse thrust. <clears throat> We could call it cruise control or whatever you want to name it. Um, and toggle block on and off. They are currently on. But if we want to make a maintain a cruising speed, or a relatively good cruising speed, we just turn those off. Turn them off. And off we go. So we get up to speed. And we'll go pay uh, our friends a visit. I was hoping to drive over there, but... So you keep your nose down when you want to speed up. Hopefully they don't have dampening fields either. Could be in a lot of trouble if they do. a lookout tower. I wonder if we can fly over it without too much drama. So we've got 24 minutes. Oh, I didn't grab my money. Alright, we got to go back. That's annoying. I totally forgot to do that. Yeah, there was something I had to do, and that's sort of one thing I didn't do. So... <laughs> it looks like we're pretty safe going straight over the mountains there. So now we don't need to use the forward thrust to maintain a good speed. Still have an hour of battery. So we save a heck of a lot of battery power this way. Or uranium or hydrogen even. If you've got a hydrogen based ship, holy hell, you'll save so much hydrogen flying around on planets. Uh, or even lunar surfaces. And when you want to brake, just turn it on. So we'll give it another recharge. Screw it. Well, you know what? While we're here. May as well drill out the rest of this shit. <laughs> you may as well. Let's see what we can build under here. I mean, we can build something fairly comfortable. It's nothing, it's not gonna be like. Super Mega City. I mean... That was never the intention. Wait, are we going straight? And I... That sounded worse than what I really meant, but... Yeah. Hopefully you all know what I meant.
Beautiful. Like I said, this doesn't have to be perfectly square, just enough for me to dig most of it out, and then I can do the rest by hand, so to smooth out the edges. So this will be like a little silo, and this is where we'll uh, build our first little rocket to get to the moon. And it will be a small grid, but I'll be sure to take hopefully enough supplies either to the moon or to an asteroid orbiting the moon. Either one will be fine. crooked there. Oh, there's my artificial horizon. I forgot what that was. I found it. So, dug out a fair bit there. Let's dig out the next section. It's not bad. I mean, it's not perfectly square, but like I said, it doesn't need, doesn't need to be. Just pretty damn close. So, hell yeah. And, best part, we managed to keep our tree. So we've got a nice big tree out the front, which I'll probably end up knocking over with the rover at some point, but I'll try my best not to, straight away. Um, so let's go down. Let's dig out the rest.
yeah, it should be fine. Taking an up on my hip. Not what I meant to do. Okay. Let's back her up. We got just enough time to finish digging this section out. Dig out the silo area, or what will be the silo area. Uh, turned out to be a little bit crooked, but that's okay. Like I said, we can smooth it out with the hand drill. Try and keep this as steady as possible. Let's move forward a bit. down so yeah so everyone make sure you use your artificial horizon unlike uh, me in the beginning so I was I had forgotten where it was it's right next to where my where the artificial gravity and planet gravity is indicated Looks like the last little section. Uh, yes, I believe it is. Oops.
just even out. The rest, as, mu as much as we can. That'll do. Let's see how we did from above. As long as it's kind of square shaped and square shaped relative to I mean it'll do. Like I said I can even it out with a hand drill. So we've got the bulk of it done. So that's what I really wanted to do. Oh, no, 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 no. Thought I hit nine, but I didn't. Anyway, so three, recharge. All right. Nice. Lot of drilling work done then. That went, for, for once things went a bit smoother than I had anticipated they would. Okay, we are going to need to make, produce more water. Excuse me. Meteor storm inbound. Ah, no. Well. No, I just dug that out, you bastards! I didn't land in there, okay. I was like... I, oh, okay, it came close. What is that? Is that... What I think it is. Is that friggin' nickel? It's nickel. It's fucking nickel. Anyway, not to worry. But, yeah, our square hole, squarish hole looks pretty good. Um, I forgot what I was doing. Oh, yeah. Okay, grey wastewater, get in there. And. Yeah, actually, I'll keep that tin in there. It's fine. I'll grab this. Let's make another ten, uh, five hundred plates. I don't want to overdo it though, because yeah, that would be bad. At least get one side done, hey? Okay. Well, not much to do there. That won't give us much. Maybe doing a 500 at a time isn't quite enough, but... I mean, a thousand takes up quite a bit. Uh, 
three more rows to go. Okay. Where'd you go? Alright, that'll get us a couple. A few done. I think one one more row, maybe. Not quite. But it all looks quite good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in this tower, but I'm going to put out some sloped edges um, on one side, sort of come out this way, and have them sort of probably come from about five five blocks down, so it's not impacting on these too much and have them come down here and then I'm going to do the same over here and then we're going to build an entrance so it comes down into this section here and we'll build an entrance either using airtight hanger doors or uh, those large doors I'm not sure which yet so to finish off um, we are going to take a trip over to the trader. Which I can't just yet, but I do need to get, need to go get prepared. So well maybe I can Yeah, maybe I can finish off this section. Maybe. We did. Alright, I'm happy with that. So yeah, we'll put a conveyor there. We'll convey a junction. Convey a junction there. And run tubes all the way up there. So. That's the plan anyway. Alright. So. Let us hope that. Um, let's also bring some more food. Yes, I think that'll be a good idea. Actually, oh, I can build, make three of these. One, two, three. Hell yeah. I can make um, ketchup. Apparently, I can eat straight ketchup. Lovely. Dear oh dear. So we got Saproid steaks. Nice. Um, the most important thing money. So we're going to use the ATM over there. Alright, let's take our ship for a fly. Go visit the trader, finally. It's been a long time coming. Okay, we're on recharge, don't forget. Don't want to fall off. Alright, so unlock. Turn these off. gonna have to keep the thrusters on for a bit.
Up and over the hill. You see how the power just went up? Even though we're maintaining speed, power just went up to an hour. Now we have to accelerate again. We'll have a look at what they deal with once we get there. I was going to do it. Imba supply cache. I don't want to go over there because. Those things tend to blow up. I can see them. So STDR. Hang on. STDR. Star drillers. Or impurest gas is nothing but the best for our customers. Uh, I could have done with that. <laughs> Ore and gases, eh? Finally met our nearest trading neighbour. But what we could do when we get there, and I'll show you guys for those of you who haven't played. So let's turn on our brakes. Oh, they've been copping a few media hits as well. Have I got anything in the... No, I don't. Okay. They really did nerf these thrusters. Oh my god, Kane, you guys suck. Love you, but you suck. <laughs> so we're going to look for... There we go. So we can connect to a connector. Save on power. Make sure we're nice and level. Ready to lock and so it says two days power. Now if we have a look at our batteries. It actually depletes. So, yeah. Now if we go recharge, it... Oh, it actually will recharge for free. I must have changed that. Hang on. Charge. It's getting zero. That one's getting zero as well. Okay. But it's still connected. Or is it? 
What? Totally conked out. God damn it. Alright. Leave it on auto. It's two days. Whatever. At least give us some power here, bastards. I think you can buy some, so it's all good. Anyway. So. Let's go and check out what's inside. Hello, anyone home? We're your neighbours. Hello. Alright, so you can go shopping over here. I think, yeah, this is the store. So. Okay, so let's press I. So I did that, but no. F? Yes, okay. And we can buy a bunch of data pads and find out locations of various other um, factions. However, I do want to deposit some money. I want to deposit all that. So 3988. Um, yeah, 3988. Deposit. There we go. So if I want to buy all these, it's going to cost me 12000 which is almost all my money. So we won't do that. Excuse me, instead what we'll do is we'll buy one and hope we get lucky. Okay. Um, then you've got other things. We've got, you know, magnesium powder. It's already refined. We're not going to need that. But it's good to know... They've got uranium ore here. I don't think they've got ingots, but they do have ore. So that's nice. I wish you could buy power. Like, give me a recharge. But I don't think they've worked out how to do that yet. But, yeah. <clears throat> so we bought one of those. We have a look at our... We can read this. We used to visit a place at... Uh, this place at, at a regular basis should be on a regular basis. During my engineering days, sorry, I've got slight back problems at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, during my engineering days, and they always had some good deals available. Go see if they're still at it. Who? Oh, it's another STT. <laughs> okay. So let's go to this and show on HUD. And it should show up. 5,369. So it's way out on another planet. But Meteor storm inbound. It's good to know um, that they're out there. So if we go GPS, um, hang on. Let's hide that one. So that one's still there. So what you want to do with these. So, how, how far was it? Shh! Five, three, six, nine. Okay. Five, three, six, nine kilometers from Earth like. I don't know. So, we know what's what. Because it, after a while, it gets very confusing. So, bring this one back up. Okay, the other thing we can go do is look at the contracts. Which I think is not there. <laughs> I believe it's over here. Oh, we've got music. Let's go listen to some music. This is my favourite. Hang on. There we go. Such awesome music. Anyone who disagrees, you're wrong. Sorry. But you are. Alright. So, F to have a look at your contracts. We've got a search contract. Um, we've got all sorts of contracts we can do. Yeah, actually a lot of search contracts. Hauling... Some of these are worth a bit, actually. 
But I'll let you in on a little tip. If you're doing it on a planet, wait till night time. Yeah, so what's this? Acquisition. Detector components. Okay. Now you can take these, and it doesn't matter how long you take them. So... I might actually accept that. Because there's no time limit on that. I don't think there is. There never used to be. So, let's accept it. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to do hauling. Acquisition contracts the best way to make money fast. And then I saw there was another one that was bad. It's this one. No, I'm not doing that. That's stupid. Like, why would you guys need that many friggin' parachutes? I'm not doing it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we'll, t we'll take that contract. That's fine. Um, I'm going to always come back whenever. But yeah. So yeah, let's just drop this off whenever. It'll take as long as you need. Alright, I'm going to go have a seat. And I think we'll leave it there, folks. So we're going to go save a game. Yes, save the game. Hopefully it doesn't make my um, ship glitch out and fall off. It shouldn't. But what I'll... Yeah, next time when we come back, we'll, we'll fly back. Um, and then we'll get into uh, building the big refinery, the big assembler. Building some turrets, finally. And um, maybe if we get enough time, we'll finish off the, the rover. I don't see why we wouldn't have enough time, but yeah. As long as we get those main things done, big refinery, big assembler, Gatling turrets, we're good. And do a bit of mining of some magnesium, so. I did save that, didn't I? Hang on. Save, I'm just going to make sure. But it's good we finally got over to... Uh, the trade station. So we took a contract for a million C, C bucks or C bucks. I'm thinking of Battletech. Space bucks. Um, space credits. Whatever. So yeah, hope hope to see you next week, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, do consider drop, uh, subscribing, dropping a like. It also helps my channel. And uh, until next time, take it easy, everyone, and bye for now.